What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. In today's video, we're taking a look at how you can get your hands on some amazing high stat armor, but also how you can masterwork it without the need to step into a single Grandmaster or raid activity. So if you've been struggling to get high stat armor or end game upgrade materials, be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below, and remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now before we jump into the meat of today's video, I want to first invite you all to the Jarv Community Hub. This is a fast growing community discord we have with nearly 4,500 amazing members. So if you'd like to talk about destiny, share your stats, or just get a fire team together to get things done, be sure to jump in. It's available to absolutely everyone and the link to the community discord can be found down in the video description below. Now jumping back into today's video, today we're focusing on high stat armor and how everyone can get their hands on it right now for absolutely free. So if you're struggling to get high stat armor by not being able to run end game activities, this is most definitely the video for you. Now currently live in the game right now is the Solstice of Heroes and if you can fully upgrade your armor sets, you'll unlock the magnificent set of the Illuminous Armor. Now the first set of armor you get on this set has very below average armor stats, averaging around 50 to 55. Now whilst the overall stat totals aren't great, the stat distributions aren't fantastic either. But there is a fantastic way where you can actually get additional rolls of this armor with much higher stat rolls. So much so, I was able to get 105 on my chest piece and 107 on a new pair of boots. So there are certainly some high stat roll armor pieces to be had and it's definitely an opportunity not to be slept on. Now in order to gain access to this high stat armor you first need to unlock the magnificent sets for all three classes. This year they have introduced accelerators which automatically unlock and apply as you complete each and every character. These accelerators will help the armor's objectives progress faster allowing your second and third character's objectives to be completed much more efficiently than your first. So if you're finding yourself a little bit burnt out on your first character, I can assure you the second and most definitely the third characters are a lot faster and much more efficient. And interestingly and very important to this video is the upgrades to the solstice packages as you fully unlock magnificent sets for your additional characters. Once you've unlocked it on all three characters, you'll get the exotic solstice package upgrade giving you the superior tier 2 upgrades. Now this allows solstice packages to drop armor with higher masterworks but also have a higher chance for them to drop with higher stat rolls. Now this is absolutely key to getting high stat armors from this free event which is available to absolutely everyone and is running through until the 3rd of August. Now once you fully unlock the solstice package upgrades you'll be able to take advantage of the European aerial zone. This is where the solstice packages drop and they drop randomly from the chests upon completing the activity. These will drop alongside solstice key fragments which once again are absolutely key as you'll need these fragments in order to open the packages themselves. Now inside the packages you'll have a chance to get the compass throw shotgun but the thing that we're focusing on is the high stat armor that they contain. Now to open the solstice packages you'll need 15 solstice key fragments for each and every package and what you'll find after a period of time is that you'll run out of key fragments as these have a much lower drop rate when compared to solstice packages inside the EAZ. So if you find yourself with a surplus of solstice packages but very few keys to open them, what is the best source for getting solstice key fragments to continue farming the high stat armor? But with that in mind, we need to start looking at Nightmare Hunts. Now you can find Nightmare Hunts over on the moon and these will be available to you if you purchase Shadow Keep. Now the great thing about Nightmare Hunts is you can complete these on the lowest difficulty, the Adept difficulty. This means they are match made and the combatants in these activities pose very little trouble. And even with a random fire team, you can complete runs of Nightmare Hunts in between two and three minutes. And for each Nightmare Hunt you complete, you'll get between 13 and 15 Solstice Key Fragments. You'll be guaranteed 10 upon completion completion and you can get up to an additional five for getting a platinum medal. So in theory for each nightmare hunt that you run you'll gain enough keys to almost open a single solstice package. So in summary the route to high stat armor you first need to unlock the magnificent armor sets from the solstice of heroes across all three characters. This will unlock the solstice upgrade tier 2 package which increases the masterwork on any armor that drops from solstice packages but also has a chance for them to drop with high stat rolls. Once you have that unlocked, you can run the EAZ to your heart's content to unlock as many solstice packages as you possibly can. And if you find yourself running out of solstice key fragments to open those packages, jump into nightmare hunts to obtain as many key fragments as you need to open the final packages that you've obtained. Once you run out of packages, jump back into the EAZ and rinse and repeat that process until you get the armor that you desire. 
Now next we're going to look at how you can masterwork any piece of armor without running a single Grandmaster Nightfall or raid activity. We had a very good conversation in a live stream yesterday. I thought it was important to cover this for any new to Destiny players, also those players that aren't able to run those end game aspirational pieces of content. Now the first person you need to visit on your journey to masterworking armor is Bounty44 over in the tower. Now whilst he's the gunsmith, he does have daily bounties which offer XP, mod components and enhancement cores. You'll need enhancement cores to start your journey for upgrading armor, but you'll also need the mod components that he provides to buy mods from Ada1. Now Ada1 returned in Season of the Spicer and she sells armor mods on a daily basis. These rotate upon the daily reset and there are charged with light mods such as Radiant Light and Powerful Friends which offer bonus stats to any armor piece when applied with another elemental mod. These will help boost your overall armor stats massively and can transform your armor builds inside Destiny 2. So most definitely make sure you're paying her a visit on a regular basis and make sure you have enough mod components available to pick up any mods that she may be selling that you don't currently have. Now as well as providing daily bounties at Banshee and also mods at Ada 1, both of these sell upgrade modules, enhancement prisms and ascendant shards. Now you can purchase these for a combination of enhancement cores, legendary shards, planetary materials and glimmer. However, this can be an expensive exchange. So it's definitely not the recommended way to get your hands on these materials. There are alternative sources which are still available to you as a free to play player or if you're not able to enter end game activities. Now one of those activities is the Nightfall. You can complete this on the Adept or Hero difficulty. This week's Nightfall is the Inverted Spire, which is a free to play strike. So therefore, as long as you're at the relevant power level, you'll be able to enter it on the Adept or Hero difficulty, which are both match made. Now the Hero difficulty does drop enhancement cores on a more regular basis and has a chance to drop enhancement prisms too. So getting your hands on both of these materials in abundance will help make masterwork in any piece of armor an absolute breeze. Now with legendary shards, enhancement cores and enhancement prisms, you'll be able to masterwork a piece of armor up to 9 energy. Now to round out a full masterwork on a piece of armor, you'll need a single ascendant shard for a legendary piece of armor. Once again, you can pick these up either from Banshee 44 over in the tower or Ada 1, but by far the easiest way to get your hands on them is actually via the season pass. There are actually three Ascendant Shards on the Season Pass alone this season. You'll find one at rank 80, the other at 85, and the final one at level 94. So if you have bought the Season Pass for this season and haven't yet hit Season Rank level 100, be sure to pick up some bounties and complete some seasonal challenges to get your hands on some easy Ascendant Shards this season. So there we have it, a quick look at how you can get your hands on some high stat armor, but more importantly, how you can get your hands on those end game upgrade materials without having to step a single foot inside a Grandmaster Nightfall or a raid activity. Now, if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.